All right. Hey, everybody. Um, so I'm sorry I'm a little late today. My, my laptop, as always, that's my excuse, but it was having issues with the Streamlabs OBS software, but I got it fixed, and so we should be good to go uh, now. Um, I'll still play for an hour or whatnot. We usually go to four, but because I got started later, I'll, you know, still play for a full hour. We are doing the Batman Chaos and Gotham game for Game Boy Color. Uh, last week I played through part one, um, the first level, and it was mainly set in the Iceberg Lounge uh, where the Penguin uh, runs his business, but the final boss was Mr. Freeze, so that was kind of a fun surprise. Uh, I don't know what to expect for this level today because I don't look uh, at any of this in advance. <laughs> so this is all just a blind playthrough. Um, my first time playing it, I. Um, I had a Game Boy Color when I was a kid, but I don't believe I had this game. I don't remember having it. I know I had a Game Boy Advance when I played Batman Vengeance and uh, Rise of Sinzu, but but no, I think I skipped this one when I was um, the right age for it. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a really fun one, so I will dive into that in a second. If you're here, say hello. Looks like we have a couple viewers. Um, yeah, <laughs> see if the usual suspects are here today. Um... If you're new to these streams here on the DCAU Watchtower channel, Watchtower database, we do um, these streams every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I'm Wednesday. Uh, this I'm, my name is Ted. And I'm doing video game streams for uh, any games associated with the DC animated universe. So this one, uh, Chaos and Gotham, is based off the new Batman adventures. Uh, James Strecker reads Justice League Adventures issues every Tuesday and determines whether they're going to fit into the canonicity of the, the actual cartoon show because we kind of consider everything on screen trumps uh, anything else. So there's um, just a couple of consistencies that are kind of fun to catch in the Justice League Adventures series. So follow James on Tuesdays for that. And then Thursdays is Maddie Washburn reading through the recent um, Batman Mad Love novelization by... Pat Cardigan and Paul Dini. I only know Pat's name right now because I just started reading the book myself last night. I read the first two chapters. It's really good. So, yeah, that's tomorrow. Tune in. Um, generally at the same time, like I said, I got started about half an hour late today. But computer issues, what can you do? Anyway, um, y'all have already waited long enough. Let's get started and play this game. Let's see. I, um, I took a screenshot of the password from last week. So when I get to that point, I will have to find that. But it's got this cool opening. Um, it doesn't have any music until we get to the title screen, but these graphics are, are just kind of fun to see, like Arkham Asylum in this 8-bit <laughs> play. Yes, yeah, so there's an explosion. We got, um, got some searchlights. And here we are at Blackgate Penitentiary. And it moves. Gotta get my energy up. Gotta give y'all a show. <laughs> the Bat Signal and the Bat Family, which are now canonically called the Bat Family because of the recent Adventures Continue book. If you're following along with that series, say hey. Hey, there's James over there. Got a DCAU watchtower. All right, here's the title screen. Chaos and Gotham. Let's do this in English. So you can kind of hear there's some music at this part, but it's not really any music we've ever heard in the show before. Okay. Uh, so let me, I, it looked like I was glitching a little bit just now, and I hope that is not the case. Maybe not, maybe it was just uh, on my viewing end. Okay, let's see if I can find this password that I took. From all the way back on a week ago, so much has happened in the last week. <laughs> okay, here it is. Um, okay, so it's Batgirl's face, the Bat Cycle, Batman, and the car, the Batmobile. Okay, this should take us to level two. Uh, this is kind of a cool background scene, like from the um, animated series intro here. 
Okay, lag's gone. <laughs> yeah, hey, James. I've had a, a really weird day, so <laughs> thanks for understanding. All right, here we go. Freeze escaped and just in time to make a bad night worse. Yeah, this is where we left off last week. There's Nightwing with, um, it looks like, Gordon and Bullock and Montoya. Okay. I saw two of the Joker's goons in a storage truck headed east. The police are overwhelmed. Binary circuit has been burglarized. Binary circuit? That must be a computer hardware store or something. We'll follow the goons. We lost Freeze, but we'll catch the Joker. Oh no, a car level? I hate car levels. Also, that sound is way too loud on my end. I'm gonna have to turn it down on my headphones here. Oh, will it let me? I don't know if it'll let me. It's just that kind of day, isn't it? Okay, let's try it again. Not my Wi-Fi. It's most of my sound. That's better. Okay. I can deal with that. Yeah, this... Uh, so I can only rotate one direction? No, up is up, down is down, right? Literally right and left. Okay, so I'll drive with A. There's a heart. <laughs> this is so hard. Oh, these controls are not very intuitive. Yeah, this kind of is how they move in real life, I guess. I guess I'm just riding around. Oh, that, that was a dude. There's somebody. There was a green car that was just here. Oh, that was it. Where'd they go? There it is. That must be Joker. I think it is. I'm just... Oh, there he is. Now what do I do? Fuck. <laughs> Come on, Batman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm getting there. We're just going to drive in circles until we find Joker. Yeah, I knew it. Okay, so I just literally ran into him and he disappeared. I think that's all I can do. Because there's a little bit of health. Like, I guess I just have to find all the different Joker cars and, and just run into them. There's another. Got him. Yeah, I don't I don't think I have any guns. Cuz there's only an A button which is go and the B button doesn't do anything. So, all I can do is drive around. Okay, that was one. <laughs> There's another guy. Is he going this way, maybe? Yeah. Got him. I could use some health now, though. There's got to be some more health around here somewhere. <laughs> I told y'all that was the key to beating the level, was running into him. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take a picture of this screen now. Okay. 
So that was weird, but I'll take it. <laughs> All right, next level. <laughs> Got the mint. It's my favorite flavor. The museum. Oh, I wonder if this is the museum from uh, Bat Batman Adventures Continue. Look, Batman, the Gotham City Mint, and the Joker's in the museum? Why wouldn't everyone likes a good museum? Even the Joker couldn't get in there without a cannon. But will it cannon, though? What do y'all think? The front door is mine, Nightwing. Take the back. Let no one escape. That was kind of a cool shot. Okay, so now we're in here. And I've got this box I can move, I can punch. Is that all I can do? I knew there were other gadgets, so yeah, with select. So that's, that's that. The bomb, punch, battering, okay. <laughs> well, that guy's stupid. There we go. He should know I'm right behind him, but he doesn't. That's very strange. Just beat him up a little bit. Okay. I have a feeling that box is going to be useful, but... Yeah, I guess I should take it all the way to the wall. Now, the previous game, you could do like a nice jump against the wall and jump up, but uh, I guess it kind of worked. That's, is that like full of spikes up there? Ooh, that was bad. Come on, Batman. Don't get punched by those guys. Oh, nice. Okay, so I can hang from up here and drop down here, maybe? It's kind of hoping these colors might do anything, but I think it's just art. Okay, I should not have dropped down there yet. Whoops. <laughs> Are you talking about the um, the Adventures of Batman and Robin for Super Nintendo? I will definitely agree that quality was better. This is for Game Boy Color, so it didn't have as much of a processing power. But this game is also so much easier than the Super Nintendo game so far. But that's partly because there's there's less buttons to worry about. You can't dodge those guys by ducking either. I could really use some health. There's gotta be some up here. Yeah, there's some health. Ask and you shall receive. I like it. That's some weird art. Just a guy with a yellow face like that. <laughs> Huh. Can I go any higher while I'm up here? It doesn't really seem like there's anything up above me. So how do I get across there? Uh, I guess that was the right move. Except I died. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that happens. All right. We've seen this before, but there's the Gotham Mint in the museum. Batman and the Gotham City Mint, the Joker's in the museum. Um, the Penguin had a museum level on the Super Nintendo game. So I don't know why we're surprised that villains go to the museum. I'm gonna try to be better about my batarangs this time around and maybe that'll save me some gun wounds. Well, maybe not, though. 
Maybe the key is just like jumping to dodge the bullets or something. <laughs> that didn't really work. That kind of worked. Yeah, you're not going to shoot me now. That rolling method did pretty good just then. Then I should get full health. Yeah. All right. There's no block button on this game either, like there is on the Super Nintendo. Okay. That's cool. That's what I wanted. Okay. <laughs> There's a guy on a dinosaur up there. That's kind of funny. Oh, wow. A couple. It's the kind of dinosaur that would make Batman jealous. Kind of thing that would uh, look really good in the Batcave, you know? It's not a robot, though. Maybe that's the, the only difference. I'm trying to... Yeah, there we go. Whoops. Okay. Uh, I jumped right in front of that. Just get shot in the face, why don't you, Batman? Hmm. Nothing up that way. Whoops. <laughs> oh, okay. Guess there was. Still on the. I want to be on the punch. There we go. All right, I got half my health. That was good. All right, that's a good place to be. And I'm going to go ahead and take this chance to save. I'll just save there. Now, this is kind of like the Batman theme song play now. I mean, it basically is. Oh, that was weird. What was that? Oh, it was some sort of like air vent or something, I guess. And I guess I need to turn it off because that's the end of the level there. And it, there might not be any way past it unless. Um, can't hear the music. That's very weird. 
Oh, I know why. Does this help? No? Sorry, I'm just troubleshooting the music real quick. Yeah, you hear no music? Well, it's definitely the Batman theme song. I don't know why it's not playing the music. The music is a little glitchy anyway. But let's see if this will um, solve it here. <laughs> I think my laptop's hating me for what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Which is always a great time to plug the Patreon page. Patreon.com slash DCAU Watchtower. I've got sync to audio, okay. I'm just going to redo that just in case that helps. Hmm. Yeah, it's not that important. Y'all are right, but it would still be nice to know what's going on because I don't have it muted, but I am going to mute it now and then take it away. It's just, uh... Uh, it's just weird because I've got it playing in my head. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll just keep going then. Thanks for bearing with me with the strangeness. I just have to check my settings after we are done today. Okay. There we go. Back at the fight. All this art is really cool. Um, that actually kind of looks like the Martian Manhunter's logo. Like, he doesn't really have his logo show off a lot, but that happens sometimes. Okay. I didn't really want to jump down and I wasn't sure if that was the right move. Hmm. Thought I could jump on these things and that did not work. Maybe I have to use that red disc thing up there as like a Like something I can latch on to. Because there's, there's nothing up there to do it. Well, sort of. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to do it, Batman. Okay, and that's where I started the level from anyway. I can assume my goal is to destroy that vent somehow. But I don't know how. It's not with the battering. Oh, that must be a window. <laughs> Not like a big art piece, it's like a window to the red skies of Gotham. Hmm. Maybe I need to go up there. Nope. That's the, the vent situation. Anybody have any, any theories about what I should be doing? I've, obviously it's to get to that platform, but... It's such a strange jumping gap to get up there. Hmm.
I'm thinking a running jump. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. Yeah! Punch him, Batman? Wow. Wow, Batman. Wow. Well, the running jump worked, at least. <laughs> Let me start this level back over. I know it just did it, but I'm going to do it this way. Okay. So I just need to make sure I have the correct um, weapon going into that, which would be my fists. Running jump, yeah! All right, well, that's good. I know how to do that now. Okay. Great. This box, I wonder, because it's not really useful for anything up here. So maybe I should move it over here. Maybe this is what I need to put to cover the vent. It's all the way back down there. Yeah, because it doesn't seem like there's anything left in this part. No, nope, nothing. Okay, so I'm just going to push this box all the way down. This might make me seem old, but did y'all ever play those games on graphing calculators during math class? There was one called Block Dude. <laughs> okay, yeah, that worked. Cool. Oh, why didn't it work? All right. There we go. Another level done. And I'm gonna take this time to save once again. <laughs> that boys remembers block, dude. It's the game of the century. Okay, there's another block. I guess, again, to cover the vents. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, Batman. There we go. Let that guy shoot his heart out first before I jump up there. Now there's a big red button. Okay, I was able to hit the button. What does that do? Nothing that way. Hmm. I'm gonna try to jump to that platform up there to the top right. Nope, did not work. What's the difference in this button? One, nope, once I press it, it does not change back, okay. I wonder if it has something to do with the block. Like, if I should move this block back off? Well, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> that works. Another place to save. It's a boss fight. Harley and Joker. Uh, comedy and tragedy. Let's see what they say. Oh, there's a hyena. 
<laughs> Not sure if I should be hitting the hyena. I'm going to try doing this. Okay. Harley did not like that, so I'll take that as a good thing. Where's that hyena? I'm going to blow you up. Nope. <laughs> I think Harley and Joker are literally up there just in, in the background or something. Okay, so will this help? Nope. Maybe I just need to dodge the hyena and wait for Harley to jump down. Now oh, Joker's doing crazy stuff up there. I don't think I was actually hurting that hyena. Oh, it snuck up on me. Oh, nope. Harley's back. I like the way Joker's dancing up there, though. It's just like the, um, the one from the movie. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I am. killed me. Um, that's fine, though. We're going to just load that again. Okay, so this time I'm just going to dodge the hyena and punch Harley when she jumps down. And maybe that's what I have to do for Joker too, I don't know. But it does not seem like I can hurt that hyena. I'm going to try throwing a battering at him. Nope, did not work. Come on, Harley. Let me punch you. Ooh, she got me good. <laughs> I like the way she kind of scampered off to the side after that. But yeah, when she fell on me, she really hurt me. Oh, is that my death? No, I thought I died, but I didn't. She's really just one hit and she goes right back up there. The other Batman games have been like this where you have to just be patient and dodge the attacks and land a, a hit wherever you can. So I'm just assuming this is the same in some way. Nice. Nope, she's back up there though. I just wanted to try the battering or the back grapple didn't do anything. Oh, maybe I should drop down and kick the hyena. <laughs> and it killed me. I'm going to try doing a, a drop down hyena kick. Oh, that was a weird lunge attack and all like that. Yeah, okay, the hyena does not get hurt. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna reload this because I'm about to die anyway. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I've tried just about everything I could do now. So all I'm gonna do is just keep dodging him and hitting Harley when she jumps down.
Do you think their bowling pins has to do with anything? Like, I was wondering if that had, like, any indicator, like, as to how many, how much health they have, or, I don't know. I think it's just a funny animation. Like that upper uppercut punch. It's not really helping anybody, but well I can do that. Oh no. Uh, Harley's juggling faster now, maybe? Maybe that's just me. Not jump over him. Can anyone think of anything I'm missing with this fault boss fight to speed it up? I cannot. I wonder why it's just Harley that jumps down, not Joker. Just too busy dancing. <laughs> Maybe I do need to bomb that hyena. Oh, hey, I did the little cape thing. That means I won. <laughs> All right. Well, cool. Okay, I guess I guess my method worked. I don't think that bomb I threw at the end had anything to do with me winning. <laughs> but, you know, so it goes. All right, y'all, that's where I'm going to end for today. It's a good stopping point. Um, I'm sorry the music didn't work out. That was weird um, in that I started a little late, but so it goes sometimes. Uh, hopefully next week will be a little more smoother. Um, well, I'll make sure to show up to things a little sooner too. So, um, yeah, like I said at the beginning, if you haven't been here for one of these before, we do. Um, I do these video game streams every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, 12 p.m. Pacific. And every Tuesday, James Strecker reads issues of Justice League Adventures. He's working his way through and determining if they fit with the canon of the TV show. And then Maddie on Thursdays does novelizations of uh, DCA books right now. And he's working his way through the Mad Love book by Paul Dini and Pat. Uh, oh, I had it right earlier. I think it's Cadigan, maybe. I don't know. I've got my copy over there. Just started reading it last night. It's really cool. So. Yeah, um, thanks for joining me today. If y'all want to follow me on the social medias, it's at ted.kendrick or ted underscore kendrick on Twitter. Maybe I, I don't really use Twitter, but I'm on Instagram. Uh, we are DCAU Watchtower on all the platforms. We've got patreon.com slash DCAU Watchtower. I'm actually about to go film our Patreon party shout out video for our latest video that's going to come out on Sunday. And uh, that's going to be all about the Ram Thanagar War of the DC Animated Universe. So that should be really cool. Uh, yeah, that's about it, y'all. Um, see you next Wednesday. Come back here same time tomorrow for Maddie Washburn doing the Mad Love book. Cool. I'll talk to y'all later.